So in this question, we're dealing with copper losses in a transformer. Now, if we think of a transformer, the copper losses relate to how much heat is generated in the copper windings of the transformer. So if we have a load connected to our transformer and there's some current flowing out the secondary and in the primary so this is connected to some voltage your copper losses depend on whatever current is flowing squared times the resistance of the coils now the scenario you're given in this question it's telling us that at half load the copper losses which will be whatever current is flowing squared times the resistance is equal to 120 kilowatts. And it wants you to work out, well, what will the full load copper losses be? And what I'm hoping you'll get from this is that you can apply this to any scenario. The way I'm gonna show you this is that if we work Backwards, if you're given the full load and work, want to work out half load or a third load or whatever ratio it's asking you, you should try it this way and see if it works out. So ask yourself what's changed between half load and full load. Well, the copper losses are going to still be dependent upon the resistance of the transformer's coils. So the transformer hasn't changed. It's the same resistance or. But we've gone from half load to full load, which means that whatever current was flowing at half load, now that we're at full load, we have twice as much current, 2i. And we still have to square that. Now, if we square that, 2i by 2i, it's going to give us 4i squared or. And if we look at this part here, we have a value for i squared or already. It's this value here. So we can put this in for i squared or, and we get four times 120 kilowatts, and we're left with 480 kilowatts. So those are our copper losses at full load for this scenario but if you break it down like this each time even if you wanted to work backwards you'd be able to apply this for any ratio of full load to half load half load to quarter load full load to a third load whatever ratio 